the grey mare. I plough through the larder of my childhood home, feeling for treasures that might revive the dead. I find a cracked brooch, an old utility bill, browned like cooked chicken skin, empty jam jars, other preserves. My father's boots still caked in mud as though waiting for his feet to fill their empty bellies. And then the dull ivory of a hobby horse, gormless and huge as half a century ago. The ghost of my father dances across the kitchen tiles, bold and ribboned as cake, the equine skull ringing out its bells, singing, canary-like, the song of the dead. This was his ritual in the darkest days of midwinter, his cheeks ruddied with the touch of mulled wine, his eyes glittering at the annual miracle of rebirth, the shattering of the veil.